Have you ever wondered where did gold come from? There's a massive asteroid between Mars and Jupiter that contains enough gold along with other metals to make everyone on Earth a multimillionaire. But what's the origin of this precious element? How did it form in the universe? Is there any connection of gold we see today with stars that died billions of years ago? If yes, then what is it? In the first episode of the series ever wondered, let's discuss the origin of gold. For that, we first need to visit the periodic table of elements. Gold has an atomic number of 79, which means it's a heavy element. To understand the origin of gold, we need to go way back in time to the beginning of the universe. Soon after the Big Bang, only 3 elements were created: hydrogen, helium, and a trace amount of lithium. About 150 million years later, the first stars formed from these elements. To understand how gold is linked with stars, we must first learn a few things about the life of a star. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to understand this part. It's pretty simple. Stars spend 90% of their life fusing hydrogen into helium in their cores. This crucial phase of their life is known as the main sequence. Our sun is a main sequence star. Technically speaking, it's the most stable period in the life of a star. It's a play of two opposite forces. On one side, we have an inward gravitational force trying to crush the star, and on the other, the outward pressure from nuclear fusion halts the collapse. Depending on a star's size, it can take tens of billions of years to convert all the hydrogen into helium. The temperature that is required for this nuclear reaction is about 15 million Kelvin. After the core has converted all the hydrogen into helium, it shuts down. That's because the subsequent fusion reaction, converting helium to carbon, requires a temperature of 100 million Kelvin, which is simply not there. In the absence of a nuclear fusion reaction, the balance of the two forces is disturbed and gravity stars crushing the star. This gravitational collapse proves to be a blessing in disguise as it further increases the star's temperature. Once the temperature hits the 100 million Kelvin mark, helium starts fusing into carbon. Sun like mid-sized stars do not have the potential to fuse elements heavier than carbon. But in the case of massive stars, the fusion goes on till iron is formed. Iron is the last element in the fusion chain. You may be wondering why. That's because the following nuclear reaction from iron to zinc is endothermic. In other words, it won't do any good to the star as it consumes energy rather than giving it off. Once iron is formed, the core shuts down forever. By this time, the star has become so big that gravitational collapse is inevitable. The outer layers of the stars fall onto the core at a rate that can be one fifth the speed of light. If the star isn't too big, these infalling layers fail to crush the core entirely. Quantum mechanical effect called the neutron degeneracy pressure saves the core from a complete collapse. The infalling layers rebound back after colliding with the core, causing shock waves, detonating as a Type II supernova. The energy produced is so high that it forces electrons and protons to bump together, forming neutrons. The neutrons being electrically neutral are quickly captured by heavy atoms, creating even heavier atoms like gold. The formation of these elements takes place within seconds. So when the supernova shock waves shed the debris, heavy elements like gold are dispersed in the interstellar dust, which further condenses to form planets and other structures. This is probably one way how gold became a part of our planet. However, there's also another event that can lead to the creation of gold in our universe. That event is the powerful collision of two neutron stars. Neutron stars are the dead stars that have an extremely high density. Within a radius of 10 kilometers, a neutron star can encapsulate mass that is 1.5 times that of the sun. In 2017, Scientists detected a burst of gravitational waves from an ultra-powerful collision between two neutron stars for the first time. This event is known as a kilonova. However, the crash was remarkable in another way as well. When astronomers analyzed the wavelength spectrum of this explosion, it pointed at the presence of gold. It was estimated that the collision created about as much gold as the mass of the Earth. So definitely, 
Not only are we made up of stardust, even the metal we adore the most is extraterrestrial. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. In the comments section below, let us know what should be the topic of the next video of Ever Wondered.